So I wanted to talk about the possibility of uh, uh, Bitcoin existing uh, in like a second iteration or more, or more like a rebirth as a pure token, but on the Ethereum network. So what I learned in a day's time since I've last, you know, been sitting around and looking at all the new coins and all the new um, technologies that are coming out and different smart contracts, one interesting one was wrapped Bitcoin. And so, because I had made a video where I said, oh, okay, well, the utility of Ethereum is obviously far greater than anything that Bitcoin can provide <clears throat> because it's just a token. Well, guess what? You have a one-to-one -one way to like leverage your Bitcoin um, blockchain value over to the Ethereum chain. And so that kind of like almost bulletproofs the, the, the value currently stored in Bitcoin in the sense that even if Ethereum um, becomes a Bitcoin killer, <laughs> it's actually more like the blob. <laughs> so have you guys seen the movie The Blob and it just, it just eats everything? That's what it would do to Bitcoin. It would just consume it in, in, into itself. And so um, all the new Bitcoins that would be minted and all that network activity, you know, once it's done, the miners, they could potentially, I mean, if the supply is exhausted, I haven't read the entire white paper, but this is something that I always wonder. Like, what, what would be the incentive for the miners to continue mining just to preserve the wealth? Like, imagine all the energy expenditure. So... It's an interesting proposition because it gives um, um, a resurrection for Bitcoin and not in the form of a hard fork e even, right? So the, the technology of Bitcoin, <sighs> wow, it's just so interesting. I mean, the, you can think about it like, you know, because wrap Bitcoin, you don't have to sell your Bitcoin into fiat and then from fiat buy some, something on it, like Ethereum or some, some other token. So what you can do, what you can do is you can literally, you could, uh, once you've minted your WBTC, you can use a decentralized exchange to get any other token uh, on the Ether platform. And it's, so you, you have a complete traversal route that's non decentral like you, there's no governing entity you can move your money from currency to currency to currency so easily because of these smart contract systems and decentralized exchanges and because of you know um like the ability to wrap other coins onto the ethereum uh, chain blockchain as a token <clears throat> so every day i'm looking at it every day i'm learning more Every day my mind is reeling with the possibilities. I can't even sleep. I don't know, I'm going like five hours of sleep and I, I can't sleep. Because every time I, I try to <laughs> stop thinking about it, my mind is like, dude, did, did you realize, boo? So I hope, um, you know, the energy is kind of contagious. And, and not so much like <clears throat> the, the financial exploration of it. But let's start reading the white papers. Let's start looking at the tech. Like that's where I'm at. Like I've got enough money in Ethereum um, that um, it's time to actually like learn smart contracts and, and start making them and, and proliferate the system even, even more. And actually, it just makes more sense for me uh, uh, because you know they say put your money where your mouth is. I'm a developer. I got a lot of vested interest in this blockchain technology, so I think maybe I should start le learning that, you know, instead of Go. <laughs> no, no hate on the Go people. Um, anyway, um, peace out. Thank you for watching. It's my rant before you know I try to fall asleep. <laughs>